Check it out. It's the ATI Omni Hybrid AR Pistol. What's good, fam? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna give you a little five minute review because I don't think I reviewed this gun on my channel yet. But I've had this joint for a little over, I say maybe like a year or two now. Yeah, maybe, oh, coming up on two years, I had this gun. Dev did a review on it, but here we go. This is the ATI Omni Hybrid Max. Magazine is unloaded. Show y'all boys that it is clear. Oh, take the dust cover off real quick. Hold on. There we go. It is clear. Nothing at the top. All right, take direction. We good to go. But yeah, ATI Omni Hybrid Max. I got the SIG Romeo up top. Uh, did we go put one of the Shockwave blades on there. Mag pull, angled foregrip, kinda. And also got the CAC Industries flash can up here. Having this joint for two years, I only shot it maybe like, I can count on my fingers how many times I've shot it, maybe like six or seven times. Just haven't really shot it in a while, man, because I didn't have a real bag to put this in, but now that I do have a range bag. Let me show you that real quick. Did have to go and get me a sizable bag to put this thing in. Keep the logo. Yeah. But I did have to go get me a sizable bag to put this thing in because I used to carry my joints. Now don't laugh at me, but I used to carry my joints in a duffel bag, bro. And this right here, I did not want it to get banged up in a duffel bag. So it kind of sat for a while. But when I do take it out to the range, this joint is a whole lot of fun. I promise you. You know if you have an AR pistol, this joint right here is the loudest thing out there every time. It was even louder when I didn't have the CAC Industries flash can up top. It used to be the regular A2 joint. I forget what it's called. The A2 flash hider, I think is what it's called. But after I went and put the CAC Industries up there, it did get a whole lot quieter for me. Indoor ranges, don't like to shoot it. But outside at the range, it's a whole lot of fun. But this being a seven and a half inch barrel on this AR pistol, uh, I can extend the brace a little bit if I want to, but the throw on there is, is so small that it's kind of uncomfortable. My dust still on? But yeah, the throw on there is kind of uncomfortable. So I do want to get me maybe, if I do get another AR pistol, I'll get maybe a 10, 10 inch, 13 inch barrel, whatever like that. Or just go ahead and get me an AR rifle, which I really want. Get my first AR rifle. But this used to be my shit hit the fan gun, right? If you watch my first gun review or my first gun collection, this used to be my shit hit the fan gun. But I learned that, I mean, I still can use it, but this is definitely not something that I would go go with especially ever since i got my help up i like ak's bro that's my first ak my help up we ain't talking about that one but this one right here definitely still a ball of fun definitely still something that you can get down and dirty with speaking of dirty every time i shoot this joint i spend at least 30 minutes cleaning the internals every time maybe i'm just using dirty ammo if y'all y'all if i'm using dirty ammo let me know bro I used to have the, um, I used to have irons on there. Went ahead and took them off. I'm going to use those for when I do get a full size rifle. But I say that to say that the Sig Romeo on here is actually, I, I think, I think it's perfect on this little joint right here. But this small little package, you get the nice, the riser on your Sig Romeo right here, standard joint. And it's not, it's not too much, man. You can just, you know what I'm saying? It's right there ready for you. And the battery lasts hella long on the Sig Romeo, bro. Matter of fact, to give you a perfect example, we went and shot this maybe like a week ago. And I guess I forgot to turn it off. And you can see earlier, it was still on. So the battery lasts hella long here, bro. And I've done that a couple times. I might need to change the batteries in this joint, but nah, it's still pretty good, cool, bro. But this is my baby Gang Green. You saw the gun collection video, you know why I call it Gang Green. But yeah, man, 
feature regular AR mags. I do want to get me some drummies to put on there. Y'all leave down in the comments below if you think I should put a drum on this thing. But this is definitely a cool ass plinkster, bro. To go plinking with, solid, bro. For real. If you're thinking about getting you an ATI Omni Hybrid, get you one, dog. I'm not sponsored by them boys in any way. I just love this joint that much. You know what I'm saying? I definitely got to go out and shoot with it more, bro. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and say that this ARs, um, I didn't notice at first, but I guess it it's a good thing contributing to the weight-wise. It is a polymer-reinforced AR, meaning that all of the lower and a good bit of that upper is polymer, but there's metal reinforcements in the important parts. Don't ask me what that means, because I don't know. But this joint, it is super light, bro. It's easy as hell to shoot with one hand, too, bro. Like, that's not a problem at all. As y'all can see that mag release sitting right there, that joint is nice and responsive. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that joint is nice and responsive. I don't have to do a whole lot of boom bapping, even when it's loaded. I don't have to do a whole lot of that. You can see the magazines don't just fall out, but they sit in there pretty, pretty nice, bro. They do. This is a P-Mag. Regular aftermarket P-Mag. When it comes, uh, the mag that comes with this joint is a um, ATI mag. Same thing, bro. This joint. This joint fire, man. For real. I definitely got to spend some more time with this joint right here. But those little dots right there. Might look at the y'all, but those are the numbers. For, I don't I don't know what they're for, to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it a band with y'all. I really don't know what they're for. Maybe they're different positions to mount your accessories or something like that. Y'all let me know. Y'all y'all usually really cool about letting me know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, but you definitely have to put your own own rails on here. So that's super easy. And that's super cheap to get. But this right, this joint right here is a solid banger, yo. Like for real. Like, like, like you can get you can get busy with this joint. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just perfect. I can't, like I said, I can't extend this. Right here, it ain't in the pull out. I gotta go in there with the Allen key and pull it out. But you can get busy with this joint right here. Like this joint, bro. But y'all let me know down in the comment section how y'all like the five minute review. If I should do more of these, uh, let me know which one of my joints you think I should do more five minute reviews with. But um, it's been your boy, Big Ron. Peace.